What's up, everyone? Please go make sure to go check out the mod in the description. It, it's great. And it's a massive shout out to RyTM077. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. What's up, everyone? And welcome back to another Yakuza 7 Like a Dragon mod overview. This time we've got Somia, if I'm saying that right, from Yakuza 6. So let's just jump right into it. So just like with the Akiyama mod, he just have his own unique stance and just have a bunch of unique moves that have been taken from other characters, some have been taken from Ichiban, some you know, some from other classes, some from other enemies, and we're just gonna go through them. So first of all is his basic attack. So just a nice basic three hits. Does it's simple, you know, not no not game, which is unfortunately not allowing for any follow-ups. But that's cool. It's cool. Three hits is good and it's pretty quick. And I think that's the main point. So, so now we're going to go on to the skills. He's obviously got a bunch of skills, all that have been replaced by, well, from um, Adachi. And obviously, I've got the ones that have been inherited from other skills. So, first of all, we've got the Yomi Lariat, which you you know is going to be a Lariat. It's like, when it's, oh, it's, it's so satisfying to see. Not really much to say about it, it's two hits, it's great. And you know, it's always good in them situations where you can do two hits, maybe not doing the opponent, you can get the follow up as well. But that's, yeah, that's kind of about it. It does obviously take from the uh, Luchador fighters. So, you know, it's always cool just to see these attacks come from all sources and just see them be used by your own party members instead of being enemy exclusive. Uh, we'll, we'll just get to his turn. So, next is Sudden Impact. It's just, well, yeah, just a simple one thing and then, you know, you can get the follow-up for the damage. So, just use that if you want to get a bit of, just a free follow-up attack. So, his next attack is Violent Vortex. So, I'm pretty sure this move's taken from Zhao, if I'm thinking of the right one. It's either taken from Zhao, it's the break of the class. I'm not really sure, because I only really use Zhao for the decimating attack. Or well, any, you go for Vagrant, because it's really good, and I didn't really have, um, what's his face? Um, Jungi Han available when I did it. So, but, uh, if I'm incorrect on where it's taken from, I, I sincerely apologise. Alright, so his next attack is the Serpent Dive. This is, I'm pretty, yeah, it's going to be pretty familiar to anyone else, you know, in Yakuza. Yeah, or oh, attack. Nice and simple. Again, you can get the follow-up. Not really much else to say in regards to that. So his next attack is Exploding Fists. So this attack has the ability to possibly stun. And nice free hits, pretty quick. Um, I'll just do it again for the sake of seeing if it actually flops on the stun. Just say it stuns, so it's always a possibility as well. But yes, nice and quick. You know. Nice, no, yeah, just nice and quick and gets a stun. You, you never know when you might, you might need a stun in a battle. <laughs> so the next ability is the Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker is going to look a bit familiar to um, people that use each in the freelancer role. It's just his. Yeah, kick. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll get his just for comparison, just so you can see it. So it's the ruffian kick, and then you know, yeah, pretty nice to include it. So the next attack is everyone's favourite, machine gun kiss. Um, let's just let's do it. You know, but obviously it's based on Sajima's attack. I want to say during his last fights where he could just his normal attack without any of the abilities. Um, four hits is always great, the more hits the better. And I think it increase, the damage increases a little bit each one, but don't correct me on that. So next up is the Hana, oh god, I'm going gonna, gonna to butcher this, Hana Yorai, or Yorai Dango. So this one obviously is going to look a bit familiar as well, because it's, yeah, from Zhao. And it can stun, and it did seem to stun during that attempt there, so that's always good to see. Um, so, the next attack for him is the Wild Slash. This again is going to look a bit familiar. So, wow. so yeah, Itchy Bands. 
back swing. Um, we'll move on to the next fight. I'll show each round's version off just so we've got a bit of a comparison. And then we'll go on to the next move. So the next move is Destiny. So again, these moves look a bit similar to other classes. This is the um, heavy charge strike from the class, which does, oh, that was a lot of damage and, you know, given the chance to bleed. Uh, I forgot to mention, all the attacks do in fact have a bit of different dialogue, I was going to say dialogue, a bit of a different description, which, you know, you know, is the effort that goes in, you know, I'll actually, I'll just go, go into it a little bit. Um, turn. So it's like you've got damaging enemy with enough force to wound the dragon, which is obviously a reference to Kiryu, and it's just great, like, you know, these pun barrage of punches, you know, diving, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to see. So next is, the, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave these for last actually, I was going to do the, um, because you know, he's got, he's got different um, Kimawai moves, or extreme moves, depending on how you want to do it. So we'll do the other one, so he has Sapphire Energy. This one hasn't had the name change, but not the same name change, the description change. But you know, it's like each round before you get the slight accuracy, you know, the evasion increase and the damage increase. You know, which again buffs in RPGs are always great. And you know, copies from Ichiban. So we'll just, we'll see Ichiban's version just to you know his hyper swagger. Let's just see if he's in comparison. Okay, um, yeah. And next is... Blood... Okay. Bloodstain. Philosophy. If I, I'm probably butchered it. I'm terrible. I can't talk. So, it's going to greatly boost his accuracy on the next turn. Again, from the bodyguard. Black. You know, just in case you need that extra bit of increase in your accuracy so next is he has he does actually have one unique heal move which is the secret ocean special which is pretty much the same as the secret cocktail i think i don't know if there's any differences but you know same anime I think. actually no it's different oh no that's from the ah uh, see i don't ever use the, co the secret cocktail move um, that's from the bartender enemy. Ah, and he didn't get him drunk off it. So, now onto the essence soft moves. So he's got the tag team, which is the usual one. Then he's got blue dirt, essence of fallen ambition, and impaled rose. I'll do tag team the Nelson strike first, just so you can see it in action. You know, there's not really any, I don't think there's any different, I'm pretty sure it's still called Nelson Strike, even when you do it with an actual event the mod. But it's still cool to see him, you know, team up. And it works really well, because you should get other mods where it's not going to really line up very well. You know, I think that's the case with the the One way, if you do the Essence of Mayhem, it attacks doesn't really line up well, which is kind of possible to replace in smaller model would be a, a taller model and I guess it won't really match well. So next is Essence of Blue Dirt. This this move obviously changes depending on the surrounding area. I did do a bit of testing beforehand and I'll put in right now what happens. Well, actually, I'll show what happens first when you just use it without any other items. So, yep, you straight to face plant. I'll show right now what happens when I used it with um, let's say some of yeah, in the streets of Kamurocho and I'll have also have it Ichiban there just as a comparison because it caught me off guard when I was just doing some testing just to see what happens if I was to use a cone as a weapon. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty strange and, you know, caught me off guard. I don't know, it, it might be one of the things you can fix, but it's like, I guess you could just replace the model 
people, person, mob, I, you know, I can't be the person that can say that it can be done, it can't be done, because, no way. So next is Essence of the, Essence of Fallen Ambition. Slash an enemy with enough force. The, slash the enemy with enough force to make even the dragon pause. Obviously, again, reference to Kiryu. Just in case this kills, because you can't actually use Essence of Impaled Rose. Because it takes the position of um, Adachi's um, wheel spin. So I'm going to do that first, just in case. In the off chance, I do kill. So we do Essence of Impaled Rose. Which again, just obviously attack from the bodyguard. Yeah, obviously that does damage to him and does a lot of damage to the enemy. So now we do essence of fallen ambition. Again, the attack of the bodyguard, but it looks so cool. So we'll just finish off the last enemy and then we'll just close it off. Let's just give everyone a nice free hit because nobody else is really hips like Ichiban and Samiya. Um, you know, we'll just hit, we're hitting with some vampire for some reason. So it'll get pretty fun to me. <laughs> so yeah. Level up for number, but yeah, this mod's great. I do recommend going to check it out. It's it's just great to see. It's just, it, I, I'm honestly just amazed and what's going on. I'm hoping it can just at one point be all brought together where it's like you can have you know the Kiryu Majima mod with the Jungi Han, you know, uh, yeah, no, sorry, Kiryu Majima mod with Akiyama with Somia. <laughs> Obviously, you could probably do all that manually and God forbid if I ever did that, I'd be super duper duper impressed with myself. But it'd be really cool to see. But I do recommend going and checking out the mod. It's, it's 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 absolutely glorious. Big shout out to to the mod mm. creator. It's I don't know. It, it's it's great. I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, please, please check it out. And, you know, if you like the video, like it. Please give me some, you know, tips on how to do these. I'm try I might try and do in the next one, uh, a, like a post commentary kind of thing. So it doesn't really drag on as long. And there's, you know, I can go a bit more detail if needs be. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.